how do I put a value on a soul? I measure the value by the demand for it. Think about this. The devil, the prince of this world, is at work in the world after your soul. He's telling you you ain't nobody. He's telling someone in this room, you might as well go home and commit suicide. He's telling someone in this room, you might as well backslide, you know. Hell can't be much worse than this. But he's going through all that trouble because he sees your soul, in spite of his lies, he sees your soul as so valuable that it's worth him lying and cheating and conniving to get one soul. How valuable is one soul? The demand for it. The devil's after it, but then God is concerned about your soul. Second Peter, I think, 3 and 9 says that the Father is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Romans 5 and 8 says that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. Can I talk to somebody? John 3, 16 says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever should believe on him would not perish but have everlasting life. The value of a soul is measured by its eternal quality. The value of a soul is measured by the demand on it. God and Satan are both fighting over the value of the soul of your family they both want your soul hallelujah the value of a soul is determined by the severity of its loss mark 8 and 36 jesus said if i gain all the wealth of the world what does it profit if a man gain the whole world but lose his soul so your soul is more valuable than the entire world can i talk to somebody your soul is more valuable than all the gold in fort knox your soul is more valuable than all the diamonds that have yet to be mined in south Africa. Your soul is more valuable than all the oil in the wells untapped in Oklahoma, Texas, Saudi Arabia, Nigeria. Your soul is so valuable that it's more valuable than the world. So I measured the, the, the value by the severity of its loss. Uh, to gain the world and lose your soul is a poor bargain. And so if I lose my soul, the severity is more than losing the world. Uh, but then fourthly, I, I, I measure the value of a soul by the price paid for it. Uh, what greater price could be paid than for Jesus Christ to go to Calvary? Hallelujah. God, who was wrapped up in the flesh, uh, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God, and yet he made of himself no reputation, took upon himself the form of a servant, came down, humbled himself, became obedient unto death. Listen, your soul is so valuable that God gave his own life, took on a human body so he could die on your behalf. Uh, touch somebody say a soul is valuable uh, I'm here to tell you all for one uh, brothers and sisters the text does not say that Jesus opted to go through Samaria but he needed to go through Samaria because of the necessity of one uh, he did all of that for one uh, he risked his reputation for one uh, he took his time for one uh, he sat for one he waited for one uh, hallelujah he stopped saving the world uh, to reach out to one lost woman uh, even on the cross, Jesus stopped dying long enough to reach out for one lost thief that says, Father, uh, Jesus, take today, let me be with you in paradise. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus stopped dying to say, today you shall be with me in paradise. Uh, look around and tell somebody, all for one. Uh, ah, Bishop, what are you trying to tell me tonight? Uh, and I'm almost ready to end this thing right now. But I came to tell you that we've got to, as a church, if we're going to continue in the power and the anointing of the first church, uh, we've got to go back to not minimizing souls. Uh, we've got to get back to the place uh, where we're concerned about lost souls. Uh, 